my wife, Mrs. Titi Abubakar, the chairman of the entire national committee, Senator Ben Obi, Your Excellencies, current governors, former governors, the distinguished senators, members of the House of Representatives, ladies and gentlemen. I was informed late in April that High Chief Raymond Dopesi was ill. I went to his home in Asokoro, close to my house, to see him, accompanied by some friends. He is playing, and it was obvious that he was making good recovery. And as usual, he was his ebullient self and in high spirits. We chatted for a while before we left him. We kept in touch, and I was regularly briefed on his continued progress. So I was shocked to learn that he passed away on 29th May, 2023. What a loss. I was in Yola. Yes, death is inevitable, but I believe that Raymond had much more to contribute to the development of this country. He was not tired. In fact, it seemed that he eased himself of the day-to-day -day running of some of his businesses in order for him to devote more time to public service. However, as the Holy Books teach us, God knows best. Where does one start to talk about a friendship and partnership that lasted nearly 40 years? Raymond and I had been friends and partners for that long. And I can tell you that he was a loyal, caring, and committed friend. And it's not just about me. It was so with his other friends and associates, which is why he was very well liked across this country. As some of you know, he remained loyal to his sponsor and mentor, Alaji Banganga Tukuru, until death separated them. Raymond was an astute, successful, and visionary businessman with the uncanny abilities to sniff out opportunities that most people miss. And in doing so, he amassed a number of facts. He was a pioneer investor in a number of critical sectors of our economy. He was a pioneer investor in indigenous private shipping as a founding investor in the Africa Ocean Lines. He was a pioneer in private electronic media. His relentless lobbying helped to bring about a change in the law that broke government monopoly in radio and television. And he quickly established Ray Power Radio in 1994, and the Africa Independent Television in 1996. Rare Power was the first privately owned radio station in Nigeria, and the AIT, the first satellite television station in this part of the world. Today, both networks have listeners and viewers across the globe, and are indeed globally recognized brands. Following his lead, the, the media group has been taking progressive positions on most critical national and international issues. Raymond was very passionate about our country and its future, and the future and well-being of our peoples. He believed in investing his energy, love, and resources in our dear country, Nigeria. He was convinced that our challenges, however daunting, can be overcome with the right policies 
which would unify our country and create conditions for business to thrive and create opportunities and wealth for our people. He was involved in politics rather than just being a businessman and media mogul. He understood the power and capacity of government when applied correctly to make a positive impact on society. In politics, his extraordinary intellect and organizational capacity was evident, which made him rise very quickly. He managed governorship and presidential campaigns for a number of candidates, including Alaji Bamanga Tukur, late Madam Adamu Chiroma, and Dr. Peter Odili. And he also sought to lead the PDP a few years ago. More recently, he led the voluntary exploratory teams that travel across this country to engage with our people and explore the prospects of my seeking etiquette of my party, the PDP, in the recently conducted presidential elections. And he graciously chaired the committee that organizes my declaration of intent to seek that ticket and served in my presidential campaign councils. He worked hard at anything he said himself or his mind to it. He executes assignments with a laser focus and boundless energy. But Raymond was not only about work. He understood more than most people that all work and no play would make life very boring and uninteresting. So he enjoyed life to the fullest. He raised smart and beautiful children. He lived a fulfilled life. If he had any regrets, I assume it would be that Nigeria of his dream never materialized in his lifetime. Please join me in praying to God to grant the soul of High Chief Raymond Anthony Alego Dopesi eternal rest. Thank you very much, and God bless you all for coming. Another round of applause, please, appreciate His Excellency.